Yeah, this is my, this is my uh, Jam Master J Shrine. This is his hat, his chain, of course, the first edition of the Jam Master J Adidas that came out. And I put this shrine under my EPMD section of plaques, like, because without him, I wouldn't have this. I started DJing, opening up for Run DMC in 1988 in the, uh, the Runs House tour. All, all over Europe, Australia, Japan. The first night in London, and I was coming back in the hotel and I had my belt, because I just won a seminar. So I had my belt and then I hear some dudes go, yo shorty, come in. It was Jam Master J, DMC, and another dude. Yo little man. Yo, what, what you box? So I said, I do box, but this ain't that. I said, I, I won this, I'm a DJ. He's like, what's your name? When I said Scratch, he was like, oh, you the one that's opening up for us. So, so from that point on, you know, we were cool and it was like, all right. When an artist, when a headlining act, headlining acts usually don't come to the show until like, until like 30 minutes before they get on stage. And I was opening up. It was me and Derek B. Public Enemy and Run DMC. So by the time Run DMC got on, the crowd was tired. So they was like, yo, London was whack, you know, after the show. And uh, one of the sound men was like, nah, the, nah, the crowd was crazy. Just, just that little guy over there, he was going crazy on the turntable and the crowd was losing it. He pulled all the energy out of the crowd. So the next city, when he saw the show, he was like, yo, you gotta show me some of that shit. You know what I mean? So he came to Soundcheck every day after that. And we used to just have like a little turntable jam session going on every day. And, uh, and we became cool from that point on. So he was like, yo, um, what hotel you staying at? I'm like, I don't have a hotel. This is paying dues. I had no hotel. I ate the catering at the venue. I took showers at the venue. And I slept on the tour bus. As a matter of fact, my girl was eight months pregnant at the time. And so from that point on, when he found out I was out there with no hotel, I had a baby on the way, his hotel room, he would get double beds so I could sleep. And he would let me call home every day on his phone, on his hotel phone to see if my girl had the baby. So I just put it all up and I put it in chron you know, chronological order. He bought me when I was strictly business. Well, then we went here, so what you're saying? And, and here and here, you know what I mean? And he saw all of that, you know what I mean? And then we lost him. Mark, it's my homie. JMJ forever. <laughs>